Merry Christmas from the Hobby Farm guys. I'm Brian and it just happens to be the best day in years. Not only is it Christmas, but it's also Monday. And every Monday is Spotlight Day here. So consider this our present to you. Seriously, we're broke, so that's all you're going to get. And because it's Christmas, we'll turn our spotlight on an animal that isn't common on too many hobby farms, the reindeer. So stick around and don't forget to spread some holiday cheer our way by clicking the like button and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. The reindeer is one of the earliest animals to be domesticated, going back thousands of years to the last ice age when they were used as pack animals and by hunters to attract other animals. Before we get too far into our discussion, I want to clear up a common misconception. Reindeer and caribou are not exactly the same. Despite many sources claiming otherwise, they are two distinct subspecies of the same deer species, Rangifer tarandus. Caribou, or Rangifer tarandus granti, are native to Alaska, while reindeer, Rangifer tarandus tarandus, are native to Eurasia. Because they're part of the same species, the names are sometimes used interchangeably. The Eurasian reindeer was not introduced to Alaska until 1892 when they arrived via ship from Siberia, whereas the native caribou migrated across the Bering Land Bridge thousands of years ago. The reindeer also have a more robust body shape than caribou, with shorter legs and a flatter face. They're also more sedentary than their caribou cousins. Today, there are over 100,000 people engaged in reindeer herding in nine different countries. Norway, Sweden, Finland, Greenland, Russia, Mongolia, China, Canada, and the United States. Many of the herders are native to the lands they herd on, practicing traditional methods for their specific region. Herding involves rounding up animals into a smaller area where they're processed for meat, tagged for breeding, or castrated. Reindeer are useful for a wide variety of productive purposes, including meat, milk, cheese making, hides, as pack animals, and of course, to pull sleds. In fact, they were of great use to Russian troops in World War II. They were used to carry supplies from ports to the more remote areas where the troops were. Their meat is high in protein and vitamins and low in fat. Nutritionally, it's often compared to fish. The milk, on the other hand, is high in protein, fat, and calories, while being relatively low in lactose. This combination helps calves grow quickly during short, warm seasons. Being so useful, it's no surprise some have chosen to keep them on smaller farms. Today, small farms in the U.S. include reindeer in places as far south as Texas and Mississippi. And many of these animals are used for tourism and entertainment purposes, such as parades, photo ops, or holiday parties. And when raised on farms, they can be quite friendly and likable. Many states have strict regulations on importing and keeping reindeer, so be sure to research the requirements before bringing reindeer home. Breeding reindeer can be quite difficult, as technologies like artificial insemination have proven to be quite challenging. Females reach sexual maturity in four years and males at six years. And when they breed naturally, there's a negative correlation between breeding date and gestation period. So the later they're bred, the shorter the gestation. This synchronizes births within a herd so fewer calves are lost to predators. Reindeer cows typically give birth to single calves and twins are very rare. Calves weigh only about 12 pounds at birth in the spring but will grow quickly, reaching 150 pounds by December. Reindeer are not too difficult to keep, being relatively easy to train and will tolerate being fenced in. Their diet includes a variety of grasses, sedges, forbs, and shrubs. Commercial feed formulas are also available. Reindeer will live to between 15 and 18 years. There are quite a few unique qualities that separate reindeer from other members of the deer family. For example, they're the only species where both sexes grow antlers and shed them each year. Even calves will grow antlers in their first year. Those antlers, by the way, are fast growing. 
adding one to two inches each day at peak growth periods. Another unique feature is that they will switch back and forth between browsing or searching out specific foods and grazing, which is eating whatever's available at the time. Their hair is extremely thick with 3,500 to 5,000 strands per square inch. And their oversized hooves and dew claws act as snowshoes, allowing them to move more easily through the deep snow. They're also extremely buoyant and great swimmers, crossing wide rivers and lakes during their migration. Oh, and one more thing. Unless they're part of a magical herd located at the North Pole, reindeer can't fly. So that's the reindeer, a unique deer that has many productive uses, the most important of which is pulling sleds to deliver toys around the world. So what do you think? Are you ready to start a small herd? Leave us a comment telling us your thoughts. So Merry Christmas, everyone, and Happy Hobby Farming.